Hi, I'm Craig Rowland from Sandfly Security, and today is going to be a quick talk about uh, searching for compromised systems by not actually looking for exploits, but for looking for things as a result of that exploit once they get onto the box. And this kind of gets back down to what I call a thousand to one rule, which is basically not looking for everything an attacker is doing, but just looking for the one time they made a mistake. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about anti-forensics. And anti-forensics are basically the tactics, tools, and techniques that attackers run in a box in order to hide their presence. And in Sandfly, I've kind of taken a philosophy that we put a pretty heavy emphasis on looking for anti-forensics simply because it's a great indicator that that box has been broken into without necessarily knowing what they did to get onto that system. And this is because Linux does not do things to try to hide what's going on from you, right? It doesn't try to hide processes. It doesn't try to hide user activity. It doesn't try to hide histories and things like that. These are stuff that malicious actors do. So the minute you log onto a Linux system and you're looking around and you see that something or someone is doing something to hide their presence, you know that system has trouble. It's not a natural part of how the box operates. So in terms of any forensics, what are some of the things you, you should be looking for? Uh, it's going to be many different things. I'll probably get into it as the series continues, but um, uh, things like uh, tampered history files, uh, history files that have been erased or linked to dev null. It's going to be audit logs that have been tampered with to remove entries or to clean out IP addresses. It might be users that have been modified in a way to conceal activity inside of their home directories. And finally, you're probably gonna get uh, processes that are running on that box that are doing things to hide, conceal, or masquerade their presence and, and so you can't see very quickly what it is. So these are the kinds of things you're gonna see in terms of anti-forensics. And the reason why I bring this up is it's gonna be kind of a recurring theme as I talk on and on and on about this, is to, to move away from this idea of, of trying to look for a constant stream of signatures, right? Everyone wants a new signature for this, new signature for this, new signature for this, and it's a constant uh, hamster wheel of updates. But instead, if you're looking at the tactics these guys are using, you're gonna be far more effective. And, and in terms of anti-forensics, for instance, we look for a variety of things with Sandfly that could spot a lot of malware we've never even seen before. And the reason we can do it is because this malware comes on and the first thing it tries to do is hide in a way that's so particular and unique to someone doing something malicious, it can't be anything but bad activity. So that's kind of what I mean about looking for anti-forensics. I'll start talking about some of these techniques and uh, on my Twitter feed, I'm starting to post uh, Linux commands that you can run and use. And some of them include searching for anti-forensics techniques. So this is kind of a concept I want you to start getting in your head is to stop looking for uh, signatures, specific signatures, or, and writing a, a new YAR rule all the time for everything. But instead, uh, start looking for the tactics people are using once they get on your box. And, and this we're going to be going on this as I talk more and more, but I think... Start thinking in that direction and you're going to find that your threat hunting and your intrusion detection on your systems is going to be a lot more reliable. So uh, that's it for the video for now. Uh, keep an eye on the channel. Keep an eye on my Twitter feed. We're going to be talking a lot more about this topic. It's a very interesting area with a whole lot of uh, things to go into. I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you around.